Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's up? Oh, nothing. I'm just with, um, nothing. Uh, what's up? <laughs> All right, okay. Um, nothing. I um, was calling you to say I'm excited for this fucking label, man. Oh, of course. I'm super excited, too. I have spoken to a couple of people. Um, yeah. Mia and Charlie will do one together in about an hour. Okay. Um, I haven't heard back from Cindy yet. Um, I haven't heard back from Lana yet. I spoke to someone that mentioned her name was Karina Giselle. She writes for Valentine Dollar sometimes, and she... Yeah was thinking about maybe leaving Wu Chang and doing other things. She did like marketing and <sighs> lyrics. That's, yeah. Uh, she's a very interesting person. <laughs> okay. Um, she also sang for me. Yeah. I will just let you listen to it. And uh, I wouldn't think she would be an artist, but if she wants to do lyrics, honestly, she doesn't have a good voice, but all right. Um, for lyrics, if she does, I told her to just bring the songs on hand that she has worked on. Yeah. And we can hear that and then just do the regular interview. I also sure. told Tex that we will have to do a formal um, meeting with him as well. Yeah, we have to interview everyone. Like if you... um Exactly. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. he knows he will... Dang it, I didn't eat. Oh, okay. Um, so I told him that we will sit and have that kind of meeting with him as well. And I will figure out if I, the others are in the city to be able to discuss further and set that up today. I mean, there are certain people that I would offer straight away, but like you wouldn't let me do that with like Carlito. So, you know, I think everyone should go through the, the same process. So I don't think it's, you know. Yeah. Uh, where are you at? I am towing with text. Oh, OK, OK, OK. It's like a freaking YouTube video or something. Jesus. OK, because I couldn't get my car out. Why? So I had to run to the um, ATM. So I was seeing if you're around for a lift. But it's all good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. When are these? Uh, when, when are these uh, thingies? When are the auditions um, happening? I feel like we can have the, the conversation with Tex after we're done with this towing thing. I'm just... And then I'm gonna text the others right now and see if they're in the city and want to set that up too. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, just... With Rin, I spoke to her for the accounting stuff. Yeah. Um, she says she's really interested and that she will catch me possibly over the weekend. I told her I can be in the city tomorrow morning or tomorrow really late just to talk to her. Well, therefore, then, I guess just call me when you're ready to do the interview. Yes. Just go get your food and do your, your regular stuff, you know? Yeah, okay, okay. Righty, boy. All right, call me. Bye. Hello, Tex. Um, are you, is this a good time to be able to meet? I'm a savage. Um, me at the Cerberus. Okay, to Cerberus. <laughs> hey, hey, hello, hey. hello. How you doing? Is that how you come dressed to an interview? Too fair. He said it was an, he's never said it was an interview. Too fair. Yeah, your your outfit is not really um. Yeah, I'm gonna go up there and change. Yeah, maybe maybe text will change. Yeah, and I'm gonna change too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought about that? I need to actually get an outfit. This this one's washed for like business shit. As long as you know it's you look good in it. You look good in it. This is so three months ago. Such a suck up. Uh, hello, am I following you this way? What's Have a going seat. on? I don't understand. Yeah, take a seat, my friend. Your secretary took me to the elevator and then brought me back here for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, no, no. I was, I was talking about the auditions we were trying. Please take a seat. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, well, to try welcome, my friend. I said, welcome, my friend, to the interview today. Yeah. I heard you wanted to have an interview with um with uh, Ella myself for the uh, potential role I hear at Dolphin Records. Uh, yeah, I was told uh, to <laughs> to be here. Okay, yeah, Ella, why don't you start us off? Okay, um, we've discussed previously um your involvement in the record labels and um your prior experience to sales. And um, you seemed interested before in continuing that role within the label. Is that correct? Yeah, but then you all fired me. That was um, to be able to change the role from sales prince, which is not a Daddy, professional. Me. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Mohammed. I was confused, man. Role. Would you mind if? Would you both mind sitting over there, please? Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I just, it's very Is there difficult. a reason for that? Yes, it's just very difficult. I can't hear you guys from the... Okay, okay. 
No, 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 right here's fine. These two chairs right here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the window seat. Yep, yep. <laughs> this is so dumb, man. Okay. It's kind of a professional chair, but okay. Okay. Uh, I'll carry on. My <laughs> partner slacked in a little bit. Um, what would you, you do? Yeah. Fine. Is there more to that question? What would I do? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I would do it, and I would do it well. Yeah. I know El kind of um, mentioned it at the start of the meeting, but um, and the, the start of the interview. But what is your kind of like desired role within the business, and what do you think you could? Uh, what do you think you could? do to benefit Dolphin Records? Uh, I can definitely help with sales. I like to sell things. I like to go out and talk to people and sell things. Yeah? Is, is this something that you want to do? Or is this something that you kind of, kind of find yourself in? How do I find myself in it? No, I'm saying like, is this something you want to do? Or is this kind of something that you just kind of think would be a something fun? Or do you actually think you'd be, uh, you know, driven and actually motivated to kind of push things uh yeah i like to be out and about and, and do stuff i don't like to be confined to one little spot so that's what i, I used to do for liquid library um don do you want to ask the next one or should i so uh this is a scenario right here so your dolphin records is thriving we've signed a bunch of artists we've got some really successful people in here um but then Mandan records or Wu Chang records or potentially someone else comes and tries to poach one of our artists <laughs> And they ask, and you're involved, you know, you've either been asked to intervene or you've, uh, you've, you've heard about this. What would you do in that situation? Um, obviously, if your role was, you know, it's something to do with sales, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to see, like, on a blanket term, what would you do about that situation? And how would you handle it? Thank you, Wait, The Lonely Wolf. If, you said Mandem Records specifically? No, no, no. I'm saying anyone, any label. But they were the two that I chose because they're the, kind of the two uh, other biggest labels in the city. So say if someone tried to poach out one of our artists and they were really good for us, how would you go about handling that if you were the person kind of to call out. up on? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Self-control. all about it, but I think we should have like a big meeting between uh, the person that is looking to be poached and the person trying to poach. Just have a talk it out, you know? Yeah, that sounds great. I think that's the, the right thing to do. Um, what else would you do? I mean, you just got to talk to them and see what their issues are and why they're even considering being poached, you know? Exactly, exactly. I think that's the, that's the correct answer. That's what I was looking for personally. Um, so you smashed that 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> that does conclude the interview. Don, do you have any other questions you would like to add? Um, yeah, I guess like... No? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Okay. So what 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 were you thinking of the interview? I think it was good. I think it was a bit awkward. Um, mainly because I think that um, we didn't we know him. Um, um, are you wanting to offer him sales right now? Yes. Okay. Oh, what's going on? I'll go grab him. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Go ahead and take a seat. All right, all right. Okay, go ahead and take a seat. Which one? Whichever one you're more comfortable with. Okay, I'll let you take the lead on this. Uh, no, you, you go for it. Okay, so based on the interview, we are wanting to extend the offer over as head of sales. Is that something that you're wanting? To <laughs> head of sales? <laughs> Um, we do have a contract and we will be what was just sales we want to continue on and work within dolphin records um i do want to just make sure you understand that the it, it will be a head of sales position meaning um you will help and you won't be the only one of course um helping with sales for tickets of events merchandise any kind of ep or albums um there would be a group of people that will be under you essentially right right yeah it sounds good actually um, Don, do you want to send him the contract over? And I will add you on to, what is your state ID? Uh, 24180. Text, two things, right? Um, what's your full legal name? Tex Graves. Yeah, I just spell that. Do you want to put your thingy? ID? Yeah, that's my ID right there. 
Perfect, perfect. And um, in, in terms of payment, obviously for the head of sales, like or sales in general, uh, we were thinking of like a thirty percent commission on ticket sales. Um, now I know you said that sixty was the percentage at Liquid Library, but I guess that might be a different you know type of um, different type of industry. So is is thirty percent something that's okay with you? completely understand the, the scaling and the difference so fine okay sounds good okay my friend what's your state id two four one eight zero okay if you check your documents app you should see the contract there feel free to take your time here or if you want to read through it right now you can do you should already put him in <laughs> um the, in the auditions did you want to have them at where, where did you want to have them uh i think we should have them like some place uh, either Wuchang in the, the lounge or in the yeah. uh vinewood bowl or in the arena something that's official you know professional all right there we go okay okay all right signed perfect i'm gonna send this to you l, l as well all right there we go sign by me sign by you text l if you can sign this as well be good um obviously text with this as well like being head of sales we don't have any of the sales team as of right now so when and if they are hired we'll probably have a discussion on how that like how the head of sales relates it, it, i guess at the stage that we're in now it's just kind of um gonna be just sales until we do have a team you know yeah it makes sense we did have one guy who was unreal but he just doesn't wake up anymore so he's practically dead oh, I get it. it's, a, it's a city life i get it we have uh, two more. We have auditions coming up right now, actually. <laughs> okay. Ours. All right. So I guess mm -hmm. we're uh, good here, or what? Yes. We All right. Mind if I use your closet? Go. Of course. Thank you. And welcome. I'm happy to be a part of this uh, adventure. Uh, wait. Where were you all doing audition auditions at? At Wu Chang offices, in 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, I didn't know about it. Yes, sir. Actually, I called Carlitos, but he uh, it didn't pick up. But I did email him yesterday and speak about, um, you know, potentially signing him onto the record label as well mm -hmm. when I was sending him the, the Vargas track. Uh, and he said, and I quote, he said, feel free to send me some beats and ideas at any moment. Uh, super excited for the opportunity of being in a record label again. Um, I think, you know, he, he said... He was in a record label before? Yeah, he was in a record label before, but I think because of the gang stuff that it got quite stressy, like you said. So I think this is a good yeah, opportunity for him. Yeah, the benefits of us not being involved with any gangs or exactly, anything. Exactly, exactly. Safe haven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's not going to be here for the uh, auditions, I suppose, but he, uh, I'm really excited to get him involved. I'm not really, I don't, I don't really want to into, I don't want to audition Sooty. Like, I know L wants to do things properly with everyone, but I, I, certain people, I don't want to have to, like, go through the formalities, you know? Like, for example, if I, like, say Colitos, like, if his music's sick and I want to sign him, I want to just sign him, you know? Um, same with Sooty. Like, Sooty is a, uh, she's made music before, she's quite established. I don't want her to have to perform to prove herself. I already know her worth. So that stage, I would say we'll go straight to an interview type thing in the signing um, stage. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? gosh yeah yeah super cool this is what i wear when i go and watch the bimbos perform oh hell yeah you gotta support the girls exactly exactly you, why oh sorry i just had to why because oh my god i know right what are you guys oh, up to today so good. not much we brought someone else too who's gonna we're gonna force her to sing for you yeah let's go wait who who are you having sing? Isla. Oh, oh, oh like, I don't okay. Throw me under. Timmy, tell me, can you tell me over another? I mean, we can, we can get Aubrey too. So we're getting Isla oh here to audition as well. I'm yes. so scared. I'm Isla did um, shoot so scared. me a text message. So yeah, okay. why are you scared? Because mm -hmm. I'm be really scared. scared to sing in front of other people, but I'm gonna push myself out of my comfort zone. What's yeah. up? Oh hell yeah! yeah. Should be exciting. Who who yeah, who said fuck Don Dolph? I just pointed to her. Hello guys. Why did I just point to her? Yo, what's up? What's good? What's good? You guys making your own label? Yeah, so we've got Dolphin Records, a brand new label in the city, um, headed by myself and El Queenie over here. We um, have had some funding, had some investments from some um, some big people, some who've got a lot of faith in us. As you can see, we're in the Wu Chang building right now because it's going to, you know, be sort of a sister label to Wu Chang, which means we share resources, we share a lot of the um, a lot of the perks that come along with Wu Chang. However, we are our fully independent, uh, you know, decision making, you know, artists. Uh, everything that we want to do here, no one is in the way of us or going to be involved. It's 
is everything that we want to do. So it's a very exciting opportunity. In the future, we will have our own building and we will be having um, you know, our own studios and places of business. However, for now, because we are a new label, uh, we Chang of Can to let us work out of here. We are going to get a floor put into this building as well for Dolphin uh, Records operations, which is very exciting. However, the big perk of us being here still is that we have the, the check-in and the sign-in um, system. So if you don't know, if you are an artist with Dolphin Records or if you're an artist with Wu Chang, you are able to sign in uh, as a way to make sure that musicians are getting paid um, in the city because you know people who make music do deserve to be paid. That is their job, and uh, they shouldn't be having to do other things to kind of um, you know you know pay pay their way if they have got talent and if they are signed with a record label. I say you should join MDM Records instead. <laughs> I uh, I want to get every I want to. Do Who's that? For everybody and see. You should. Yeah. So the thing that yeah, your the at. thing that we make sure that we tell anyone that wants to interview or anyone that wants to Marie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here in the city is to make sure you speak to everyone you can. Um, the point of this is for you to better yourself. Doesn't matter what record label you are going to or who you're auditioning for. They need to make sure get your back. You know, and at that point, make sure at that same time you're finding someone that suits you well and that wants the best for you and is there to be there for you every step of the way do you have, do you have a problem pay you uh, an amount no, just to start and just okay leaves it there you know at that you point sure? they're just you know, yeah, leaving yeah, you out to hang and versus okay. being, I feel, feel like you don't like me being able to build events I mean, with you and have MDM you and then you around them. the entire i was going time. to be but they didn't have their shit in order to sign me making sure your voice is heard within the label so do that um no no it's all good it's still it's still a love it's all love no, no, me too, me too. I'm still messing with you right now. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I never have fun. I don't even laugh. Laughing's, laughing's for weak people, you know? Excuse me? Okay, I actually liked what she had to say. That's, that's good. And she's a bad bitch. Do you have, um... Obviously, other than yourself, you're probably going to be representing your label. Do you have any other artists signed yet, or are you still like getting things up and running? Uh, you're still getting things up and running. We're very, very brand new. Um, so we kind of had this uh, go in the last couple of weeks. We had to get the business approved. We had to get uh, the account and everything set up. And as of like you know a few days ago, that is all sorted now. Um, and there was also the Wu Chang Idol. Um, event we didn't want to actually sign anyone at that moment in time because we didn't want to feel like it's poaching anyone you know so we kind of waited for that to die down but now we're ready so this, this audition is probably the first audition event that we're gonna have um but the benefit of that uh of us kind of being you know new being small is that when we work with artists we're gonna be working very very closely um especially with myself especially with l with the marketing and everything so we will put every ounce of energy that we have into making our artists the biggest and the best that they can be from nurturing them from like you know growing their inspiration and confidence with music also their talents to also also then making a big shout and a big song and dance about them when it comes to events and it comes to the EPs and launches. And what we're going to do is well, we're going to always going to keep that ratio the same. So the small team we have now, uh, we're going to make sure we can kind of figure out the formula of the right number of you know producers, engineers, designers and everything with that small group of artists. And then as we sign more artists we'll make sure that that always is always consistent so that no one ever feels like they are not needed or not wanted mm -hmm. they feel that they've always got someone to work with at all times you know so that is the goal long term with us so that's why we are taking things slow we want to sign the right artists and we also as elsa before we want to sign people who want to be here so that's why there's no prejudice if you guys uh, did want to sign with someone else or go and do an audition with another even, label yeah even if you do sign and you want help from us we're still here to help you because the point of this is just to make sure that you get what you want out of being an artist if the, the beauty of Don being, you know, this him starting his own label is that he produces his own beats. So you don't have to struggle with that aspect. He also helps. He's very good with lyrics. Um, if, that, if you're wanting to do lyrics, if you're wanting to learn that or if you're good at it, he can help you and push you to get there. Or if you start, let's say you start a bar, he'll help you finish it and you'll grow that way as an artist, too. So we will be in the meetings with you. We'll host meetings and we'll be in like whether in person or on a call. Um, figuring I know, out Winky, I know. Finding your voice I also don't have time. You <laughs> but... Once you find that voice and once you're wanting to create a song or an album or an EP, whatever it is, we'll help you set up that. That's why I like Carlitos because like I want to work with him, you know? Okay. For sure. And I'm sure oh, you guys... That's a great answer. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys have heard about the, the radio system that's coming in. Uh, so artists are now going to start get, be getting paid for their music being on the radio. I also think that songs being submitted to the radio are going to be approved on a more regular basis. Uh, and as Al mentioned there, with the whole, you know, me producing my own beats, um, 
when it comes to artists getting their songs on the radio, they have to be fully owned. All the licenses and all the, uh, you know, intricacies of the song need to be owned and be uh, have the exclusive rights to be able to get those songs on the radio. So with me producing and also with me having uh, a lot of history in the music industry, I'm also able to supply beats, but also get the correct rights so that we can all get our music on the radio. Because what I would hate is someone having a song, someone getting it made and then being limited and being hurt because they can't get their song on the radio and then getting paid, you know? So that's a big plus for us as well. So it sounds good. Is everyone here who wants to be here or do you guys still want to wait for someone to, to, to arrive? I think this is everyone that we had. Yeah. Hey, okay. you remember Carlitos from yesterday? He might yes. Come. Yeah, I've given him a call. Is he, um, is he awake? I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Well, we can start if you guys want to start. Um, Tyler, I did you want to go first? I'll perform a song. While we wait for Carlitos, I'll see what happened there. I'll perform a song just to kind of like break the ice so you guys right. can know what to expect. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Can't stop us, it's the Vargas, it's the gang, gang, gang. There's a problem, we gon' solve it, let it bang, bang, bang. And if we get the word, then we gon' ride out. Until it's night out, then you gonna find out. Yeah, what you gon' do when we pull up with them things out? Santa Maria, fuck with us and you get cleaned out. Or you get eyes cut into a pay the price. See the flames in his soul when you look into his eyes. Free the homies doing out of life. But if you a flop and switch sides, you can roll the dice. If you gon' die tonight, you live by the sword, you die by it too. That's what to Leo, what to Chino, what to Big 22 I slap Amelia, we bleed yellow We got loyalty in our veins when we split the netto We never settle, we catch a case, we beat the case It's nothing special, yellow mask around our face If you alive, it's only cause we let you You can't stop us, it's the Vargas, it's the gang, gang, gang If there's a problem, we gon' solve it, let it bang, bang, bang And if we get the word, then we gon' ride out Until it's night out, then you gonna find out And if it goes to war, you ain't gonna like that Cause if you hit us, then we gonna hit you right back For 60 days all over a fucking spray Just to show you that the Vagos gang really doesn't fucking play around It's our town, we run this city Santiago holding it down, this ain't nothing pretty We got chicas in nobody, yo, and ain't nobody know So let me body this flow and head to the party for sure And if El Jefe says it's a go, then it's a go We ride out, gun on the waist, chasing the dough This is the yellow mask, yellow world cartel Baby, we keep it steady, and if you want war, then we ready yeah i'm gonna play one more this next one is a song that i wrote with um molly over at man and records so i still got love for man and records by the way um but yeah i'll play this one next Thank you, thank you. So that's Molly, brand new song. It's coming on the radio soon. 
<laughs> I know, I know. But that's the whole point, you know, with the... Oh, that's a bar. Exactly. With the new radio system and stuff like that, people are going to be putting a lot more music on the radio, I think. So it's going to be good to hear all these songs that people play at events actually get finished and actually get released, you know, which is something that we want to do a lot here at the, the record label as well. Who wants to kind of go first and show us what they got? Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Make sure as well when you hear, make sure you peek the mic, just uh, and then yeah, shout, I just so yeah, I'll nice, nice. The mic. Do I sound good? You sound great. You sound great. Right. Give me, give me a minute to set it up. No worries, no worries. And also make sure when you do this, uh, like you know, state your name. Make sure you know, let everyone know you know who you are and uh, and what you're kind of uh, what you're going to perform today or sing today, just so we we know and everyone can uh, appreciate it. All right, my name is Charlie Woods. And Charlie Woods. this is a hot girl anthem that we were working on. This is my verse and my chorus for it. And I want to make more hot girl anthems. Yes. And you know, and you know some, yeah. some sad girl You're playing anthems, Jake? maybe, you know, some cuffing season anthems. Yeah, like, cuff me, <laughs> daddy. All right, yeah, cuff me, daddy. Okay. Mm. <laughs> hot girl summer, we're getting lit. Breaking up these checks, silly boy feel left on red. Hot girl summer, to get him whipped. But he's throwing money, got me feeling like a fan of hot girl summer. Don't give me lips, if he gets too close, you know what we gonna do. Hot girl summer, taking trips, get you on a flip, doing hot girl shit. Take him to my room, show him time alone. Love me all night long, keep his mind blown. Then come on, come, come on, oh, oh, right, oh shit. Oh, I should have flooded. He's thinking about this cake, now he's dreaming about a ring. Grab his phone, he's dialing. That's all it's gonna do. Ain't got the time for you. Gonna find another dude, gonna take him to my room. It's a hot girl summer, and you know that there's a few. Let's go, that oh, shit's yeah. fire. That is sick. Yeah, Charlie. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Honestly, I wish that it was finished and you could hear all of it. I have Mai's part as well. Yeah. Play it for her. Yeah, if she's down. Yeah, I think she wants to, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let's run it, let's run it. Hello, my name is Mai, Mai Kozowski. And, um, yeah, <laughs> Mai was asking. we worked on the song together, um, kind of. This is just my part, um, and it, yeah, it's called Hot Girl Summer. Let's go, I'm excited. Hot girl summer, we getting lit. Racking up them checks, silly boys left on red. Hot girl summer, we got them whipped. We he throwing money, got me feeling like it's pimp. Hot girl summer, don't give me lip. If he gets too close, you know he gonna dip. Hot girl summer, we taking trips. Get you on the flip, doing hot girl shit. BBC in the city, aka Bad Bitch Committee. Everybody Whoa. wanna hit it. If not, they wanna be me. New to the scene, but they call me Drama Queen. A play night with me is the best you'll ever see. I let you play my TD, so my kitty. Always so pretty, getting litty. Pat me down on the oh Okay. The man that can hunt down, cause when the girls call, the curtains must fall. Baby, don't fall, cause once and for all, it's. Sheesh! Like Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> that, was so that flow was fire. That flow was good. Very good. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. This whole song. I think it's one thing that like we can really help with if we do end up working with with you guys is that like, the, the production aspect. So a lot of the music that I'm hearing has got a lot of potential, but just needs like mix and like you know um, yeah. just help I with will that. Say from what I heard though, your flow was good. The the best part of your your whole verse was once you started like hitting the more rapping part. Mm -hmm. It, it sounded really, really good. Okay, all right. Um, I don't have a backtrack. I'm just gonna run this acapella. We're gonna run Woo! live. I don't know what I'm doing. Woo! You're I'm good. Sorry, Make sure you peek the mic, this, Isla. Yeah, peek the mic. Here, I'll come down. Shout to into it. Okay, all right. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. This is love on roses. Ooh. When you kiss me, heaven signs, and no, I close my This is like some Instagram reels, like photo through Tuscany. When you press me to your heart, like a French song, man. Ooh. And when you speak, angels sing from 
above Every day would seem to turn into love songs Ooh. Give your heart and soul to me And life will always be Oh, oh fuck someone hit a Hydra, man. Yeah, Let's go! Whoa. That was sick! Oh, oh, yeah. that was really well done. oh my god, I'm bit again! That, that voice is so... Uh, yeah, your voice is amazing. That was good. It's so pretty. Very, very good. It takes... It does. It yeah. takes... I would not be able to do what you just did. Yeah. Ever. He's amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. Do you, uh, do you ever write your music or do you... Uh, is that something that you want to do? Um, yeah, I've been working on something with uh, Timmy right yeah? now. Yeah? Um, yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, awesome. No, I've, been, I've been working on some lyrics for a couple different things. Oh my god, that was so scary. No, I know. I know. It's scary. I, I couldn't do that either, but that was amazing. You smashed oh, that. Amazing. Well done, well done. Yeah, okay. Oh, great, yeah. great. Um, so... Oh, let me pick the mic. So I'm actually a signed artist already. When I heard... I actually just heard of your... Um, you guys were making a label, and I like mm -hmm. the idea of a smaller label, um, at least for right now, and kind mm -hmm. of helping like do more hands-on with like not only just making music, but I'd be interested in like other positions. And I like the idea of not having to, like like I don't want to explain it, like try to force myself into something that's already so like well established. I yeah, guess. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of was like, um, I talked to MDM Records yesterday, and then um, obviously I want to take this opportunity. So um, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, I have two songs. I have one with Easy. I'm gonna do that one first because it's more upbeat. Um, and then I'll just go into the other one, which is just like a solo song. We can really hear like the vocals really well and stuff. So if that's Perfect. okay. Uh, my name is uh, fast. uh fast for the first one, right. and my name is Aubrey Aubrey Adams. So. What you doing to me? I ain't with the games, not the full edge of me. I don't fuck a lot, this shit no edge to me, yeah, yeah. This shit no edge to me, hella, hella. What you doing to me? I'm taking notes here, chat. Not the full edge of me. My thoughts. Kind of sounds like JJ, yeah? This shit no edge to me, yeah. Can't sound uncontrollable. Me. True, true. I think I've heard a lot more of your stuff already as well. Here we go. Here we go. That one's not 1449. Me, I feel, I say I'm not sure. All I really know, don't wanna cry no more. What, what you, you doing to me? me? I ain't with the games, not the full edge of me. I don't fuck a lot, this shit no edge to me. Yeah, yeah. This shit no edge to me. I love but what it tells in chat is that she's comfortable performing on R&B, trap, hip-hop style songs, which obviously works really well with me. Let's go. That's fire. I like it. I like it. Then, um, for that one, I literally did my own vocals and I like try to teach myself how to use FL Studio, so it probably doesn't sound the best. And then I can show you just straight uh, my like song that I did by myself. Uh, just me. So yeah, to say that as well. No, I like that a lot. I think um, people who can like you know have the willingness to record and try and get things going themselves mm -hmm. is a big, big plus because it means already that when we work together, I know that you'll have like the basics covered, you know, so we can elevate that and uh, turn it into something next level. Woo. I think I spoke to Aubrey a bit when I was first here as an intern. Thank you, Blunt. Also, chat, remember when they play music through their mic? It always sounds weird. When I, when they hear my music, it doesn't sound the way you hear my music, you know? Teach me how to feel. 
Thank you, Blitzwork, man. Appreciate you. Let's go. Did she produce this, Winky? Oh, Nico, okay. Because I, I imagine a lot when I like hear songs, I feel like I'm falling off of a cloud, and I'm like the <laughs> whole thing is just you know you'd like oh, I don't know it's very airy. You have like this sound to yourself. I, why why am I sounding like this is like a musical show? Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, I like I like hearing any uh, feedback. So yeah, it sounds great. It sounds really good. I um I like it. I also like like when I listen to this, I can also hear what it can become as well with new music and stuff. Yeah. That's what excites me. So um yeah, awesome. Did, did you write that? Oh uh, yeah, that was the first yeah, song amazing. I wrote. And, first song. Um, yeah, I wrote it, it, recorded it, and then I had um, Double A actually um, mix it, it for me. That was before yeah. I knew how to. Um, I figured out how to do it kind of myself. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'm. You um, definitely yeah. have a, a sound to you. Like you have, you found your voice. I just um, Sounds I so kind good. of, I, I feel kind of um, I'm stuck in the sense of like I don't have like I don't have a voice. I don't like. I don't know if normal artists like that are. This might sounds good though. You're talking. Like I don't know. Like when I go to make a song, I feel like I don't have like a go-to like flow or like style, and I don't know. I just would like to work with like a um, a smaller label that I would be able to work with me closely rather than mm -hmm. trying to me trying to figure it out on my own. I yeah. guess yeah. help would be nice. I don't know. That's what we can do. Like even when I make music now, I, I start off with an idea and a concept and how of how I want the song to sound, but it never ever goes that way. But the good thing no. about it is when you react to that and you go with the flow, it becomes something great. So as long as you're happy with the process, then when it is a finished product, you can be happy with it. Whereas sometimes if you aim for a certain sound and you don't reach it, you can get stressed, you can overthink it. Whereas, uh, yeah, as long as you go with the flow and are happy with the final, final product, that's what matters. Uh, and with that as well, I can be someone who you can work with. So if you do have a certain sound in mind, I can kind of keep pushing you to that direction and um, help you guide yourself that way but I, I can see potential I can I can see we can make some great songs together so um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to, to potentially working with you and we can kind of talk about that and, and go from there I do have a screamo song but I can't play it here <laughs> okay oh I am writing one right now it's it's nowhere one. near mixed or master but it is a techno vibe and I need help finishing it if you want to hear it it's like um yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It's literally like two oh, seconds. So I can okay. play it for you. Yeah. Two seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. What is that? Damn, that's fire! That's fire! Right. I know I said yesterday, but I can <laughs> literally imagine so people asking that shit when I'm in a cave. <laughs> True. Yeah, I'm not wrong. I love the beat of it and everything. I just um, I, I wrote that chorus. Like the hook is easy for me to write, and then the rest I'm like, oh, what nah, should I put there? It's a vibe for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a work in progress. Awesome! Awesome! Let's go! Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm really happy with how everything is going. Is is Carlitos here yet? Or coming? Oh, Santi, Santi, did you did you hear from Carlitos? Uh, no, he went to sleep, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Oh, all good, all good. Wow, well, can I can I play his song? I have it downloaded on my phone. Oh, I, don't, oh, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this is this is Carlitos. I fucking love this song. It's Carlitos Loco from the south side. I am looking for the ops, but they. Three scissors in this bitch, and we all slack. It's a yellow world, that shit till the day I die. You don't want no problem, bitch. I can pull up with the sticks, shooting stabbing. I don't miss. You don't want no part of this. No more I'm shooting bitch. Back was cooking in this bitch. We gon' throw the fucking sticks. We gon' pull up with them sticks. We gon' pull up, take your bitch for the sketch. I got a itch. Face up, 
bitch with puzzles like a Jojo. Woo! Let's go. I love Carlitos. I, love I fucking love that song. That was Carlitos' audition. <laughs> I played it. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> He's hired. Hey, right, bro, that song was fire, man. I actually loved that. That was insane. Um, and next up, we have L performing. No, absolutely. Uh -huh. hey. I do appreciate all of you coming. We will um, talk together and then reach out to you guys by this weekend for sure. By the end of this week. What the hell? Is today Friday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, okay. <laughs> by like, um, by Monday, just in case I'm not in the city one of these days. Um, Y'all were amazing. Here's my number, everyone. By the way, like if you want to like just text me like your name, and then I can get in touch to like work on music, and then talk more about the the label stuff. For those who don't know as well, Elle can actually sing, so one day we'll get her up there as well. You know, so if you if you join the label, then one day you'll hear that. Show us real quick. Show us. Mm -hmm. I cannot sing. Okay, fine. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Can I have a little sea though? animals? That was that beautiful. A little, that, yeah. a little production and a little tweaking. I was gonna say twerking. That was me singing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, as I said before, obviously this is a new label, but we're gonna grow. We've got a lot of big ambitions. So uh, even the even though yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, but yes, yeah, so even though we're here right now, obviously as we grow, as we um, get out there, we're gonna have you know new buildings, new um, you know, rooms and stuff. So it's gonna it's just gonna be exciting. But I think as you know, you guys said as well, some of you pointed on uh, the fact that we are small right now means we can dedicate a lot of time and effort into uh, our first group of core artists uh, and turn them into stars. L and I work really well together as well. I got into the city, met L, and then we just put on an event, um, did really, really well. Had like 90 people show up, made loads of money, which is really good as well. So that's something that we are really keen on doing as well. So putting events on for all you guys, EPs, singles, albums, and making a big deal of the music. So I feel like a lot of music gets put out in the city, but it doesn't really ever make a bang. So with every artist that we have here, we want to do big like shows, big events for each of our artists. And that's kind of the goal uh, is to not only like develop the music, but also turn people into, you know, stars really and make sure that their music is heard by everyone so yeah and i do want to say this even if you decide um like anyone in this room if you didn't uh, like audition or anything and if you feel you have some kind of like skills that you want to bring forward and you know be a part of the label in some way whether you've done design or marketing or you've done something else feel free to hit us up too um we're also looking for that and looking to expand in multiple ways not just artists even yeah, if you're an artist and you do have well. that your graphic seat. Yeah, this is what, I do this the graphics what for Hayes and Roosters and a bunch of shit. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So do you need scouts? Will... Scouts? Yeah, I love looking like finding talented. People. We do. We definitely do for sure. Yep. So actually, one of my favorite things is like when we go out and we start speaking to like how yesterday happened. This whole audition and everything happened because we were out there and we met you guys and um, we asked if you guys could sing and then now we're here the next day. You know, all of this happens because we're face to face and we're not, we like meeting people and it's not just, you know, waiting for someone to come to us. So much. All right, take care. Let me get the Thank door in all. case it's locked up. I can let people out too. Oh, sick, sick. Everybody meet back at the cage. <laughs> Thank you guys. It's been I sick, have it's been the sick. Range Rover if anyone needs a ride. So what do you think? Yeah, good. I made notes on anyone, everyone. You, you want to go through? Huh? I said I made, no I made notes on everything. You want to go through them? You wanna go to the meeting room? Um, yeah, yeah, can do, can do. I feel like we might have to think about the, um, sign-on bonus. Why? Because there's a lot of people that I would like to work with, and I feel like if we sign them all, we're not gonna have not enough money to continue actually working with them. Like, we'll just empty the account and then have nothing to actually use. Spread it evenly. I think we should also do a Dolphin Records launch party very quickly, very soon, with a big price on it to pump some money into the company. Sorry, I'll just pull my notes up. Uh, we had five people who auditioned today. We had Charlie, we had May, we had Isla, Aubrey Adams, and we also had Carlitos, um, who I think had the best performance of the night. He looked great on stage, um, and it was really, really good. So I said about Charlie Woods, I said the, good, uh, the beat was good, the flow was good, the voice was good, mix needs work, but that's something that we can obviously do. Uh, and personally, I would like to work with Charlie a lot. Um, so I think that's someone that we should definitely pursue and offer a contract to. Um, and remember, like a lot of these people do need work and do need help with what they're doing, but that's what we're, that's the whole point of us. So I don't want to 
on one hand say that we're here to work on a lot of artists and then on the other hand say they're not ready for us yet so i think we should take a risk on a lot of these people and uh, i know what i can do to help them and what i'm capable of um in the past it has been sometimes difficult to work with certain people uh, but what i like the most is people who can show the willingness to work with different software and actually try themselves first because it means that they've already stu studied a little bit they've already put the effort in to figure out how to record and formally go about this stuff so yeah. um the, fact the that difference between looking for talent acquisition and versus talent development mm -hmm. exactly exactly and i wouldn't want someone who's completely polished anyway at this stage because it's just like you know um I, I like seeing, I like helping people. I like seeing people reach their potential. And sometimes if they don't have the confidence for it, I like to give it to them. Whereas when someone's already established, it's like, okay, cool, you're sick, but you know, you don't need any development. So sometimes we can do that with certain artists in, but they'll be the ones where we have to chase. And they're the ones we have to provide big contracts to. Um, and they're the ones that we will kind of be lucky to have. But I think all of these people that we heard today or the people that we will sign will have that same, same position once we've worked with them for a little bit longer so uh, i'm really excited with that and charlie is one of those people uh, next moving on to may um i think that she has got talent with the singing my sorry my 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 she needs more confidence with the singing though that's what i heard so it was good it just needs more confidence with it um but what i will say then is when she as you said al when she moved on to the rap portion of it it was really really uh it was better it was better it was powerful so I think what we should do as well, we should work on a few songs uh, that I make and obviously you help with that are intended for people to copy, learn and record back. So it'll be very simple beat. It'll be- Why do you keep, uh, I'm confused. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of serious right now. <laughs> Nothing. Um, I think we should work on a song that is like, you know, eight bars of rap, six bars, uh, four bars of singing, you know, a really simple beat and give this to people to record and write the instrumentals and stuff so then they can work on that and send it back. And it's the same song that we send to everyone so we can hear how they work on that song. So the song is designed to be tested on. So that's something I want to work on as well. And, and my would be someone who I would ask to record that and see how they work. So instead of me working with them for like a week back and forward, like I was say doing with Ollie for Wu-Chang Idol, instead we give them a song, they record that, and that's how we judge how they can work on something that's with me, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but I also would be still interested in working with Maya as well. Um, Isla, moving on, had an amazing voice. Um, she was nervous, but that's natural. And if you're nervous, but you can still go on stage, that means in a way that you're not nervous, you know, you are confident. Um, so I was really impressed with that. And the voice for me sounded like it was something- I could hear the nervousness in her voice. Though. Of course, so could I. Yeah, yeah, and, and it wasn't even bad. It was just that like, you know, obviously yeah. with recording, you know, you're not gonna be nervous then, um, you know, because you, you've got time and you've got freedom to make changes and stuff and get it right. So I like that. It sounded like it was something straight from like an Instagram reel, um, you know, it's like some scenery and blah, blah, blah. So that's something that I kind I want to make anyway so i think that she's got a really great voice it was like it reminded, it reminded me of like europe you know like paris or something like that um so i think that can Bobby work on rose reminded you of paris mm. And then Aubrey Adams, obviously, that they think this one for me is like an easy W. I, I, I spoke with her when I first came into Wu Chang as a, an a intern, uh, and I always saw her in the studio. I always saw her putting work in, and that is really a show and a sign of, of commitment and willingness to make music. Um, I think still needs guidance on the mixing and improvement on there, but she did say that she has been doing that herself anyway. She's been recording with software, so she's definitely got the you know the ambition to learn with that stuff, and that is just a big win for me because when it That's comes to... huge to me. Exactly. I, I remember saying this to you, like, I want people who can do that um, because when they have a good voice but nothing else, it's kind of annoying because it's like, I want to see you at least try, you know, to to figure this stuff out. And she's got that, right? Yep, that out there. Yeah, we, we really need that. And that's the whole point of like mm -hmm. pushing people. Like I didn't know she was a graphic designer. That's huge. Yeah, it's big. Uh, and obviously number five, obviously Colitos was not uh, present, but I played his song. I spoke to him uh, via email. So he has got, definitely got some interest. I think Colitos is someone that I would love to work with because I, I can hear their... Like it's like their raw raw energy. It's just so good. Um, and I like the flow. I like the beats. I like the way he just sounds. It's very good. It's very like it's very um street. It's very like gang orientated, which I like. And I think us two working on a song on songs together, or even just producing for him or mixing for him, would be amazing. And I think he's someone that really could be a big, big, big face for us here. Um, so I would love to off offer him something as well. And um, I just know that we can make some great things together. So that's five people there who. Well, I mean, I know Collie didn't didn't actually audition, but I, I, I want to include him in, in that anyway. Um, so there are five people there. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the artists. Have you got any thoughts on these people? So we've got Charlie, Mai, Isla, Aubrey, and Collie
while you were talking, I was kind of putting in my two cents. Uh, I do agree with you with... Uh, now 50000 is a lot. Yeah. But I think we can figure something out. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that more and figure out how we want to proceed with that before Monday, right? Yeah, but one thing I don't want to do, I, like, I think we've done this a few times already. Like, we've had, like, someone that we wanted to sign or people we want to work with, and then we kind of, like, don't chase it fast enough like say with Ma mia as a perfect example like we could have had her signed and then she went came here wu chang um so i feel like people will perform for us or show what, they, what they're, they're they've done we'll gas them up we'll give them some inspiration motivation and then they'll take that goes to wu chang and then wu chang will give them the contract so i don't want that to happen you know i get that but things happen people i mean mia had already said she wanted to come to dolphin records and then she changed you can't I get what you're saying. You got to be a little bit quicker. But... It's same with me, right? If I, if like, if they had the contract and if they had the money with Mandem, I'd have been there right now. So it's like, you know, if, if they, when you, when you we leave people. We have the contracts, but we need to be able to discuss it too. The, the problem with like, with your situation last time is they knew your music. They had already heard you. They had already discussed it prior. This is us post interview discussing it right now. Right. Yeah. But I don't want to wait till Monday to say to someone that we're interested, you know? I told them till Monday, just in case anything happens. Yeah. It doesn't okay. mean Monday. It means I, I will be in the city tomorrow. I have to speak to Ren and I have to speak to winter. If winter's in the city. So, um, if you're in the city tomorrow, we can, we can talk about this more, but I agree with what you're saying, but I also, my point is like, people are going to do what they want to do. Right. No, they won't. So not if, not if we show intent. Stuff and we can do that. Like, well, I guess. Okay. My, my, my point is, and I'll change the question. Like, do you, no, I get what you're saying. Okay. But do you have like, out of the five people, like, I want to know who you have as a yes, who you have as a no. I have two things I want to say because realistically, we can have artists and that doesn't necessarily mean we have to pay them a lot, right? And we help them grow and we develop them. That's also what they do here at Uchang is they have interns. And interns, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Intern-wise, if I were to view it that way, I would say intern and, and like sign, sign, right? I would yeah. want to sign Aubrey, Isla, Carlitos, and I'm undecided with Charlie and Mai. Charlie and Mai, they both have unique voices, and I do believe with guidance and with um, having a beat behind and with the production and stuff like that, their their music can stand out and they can produce. They can create music. That would just be a little bit more hand-holding which i'm not against at all yeah but that's the way i would view it is three of them uh three out of the five and then cindy as well would be in the same category as charlie and my yeah okay i would say i'd say colitos agree on Aubrey agree on um i actually think charlie i think i've heard enough already to know that like i can get that going in a really really good way so it would more be about her ambition to actually record much stuff and get that going um Isla, I actually think I, I think we need Isla for sure. I'd like to offer a contract. However, when I hear all these artists, the one that I think I know can have difficulty when it comes to recording and actually getting the songs out is Isla. You know, so I would say because of her nervous. Okay, no, 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 not, not because of nervousness because I've, obviously I've worked with singers in the past before. As people can sing, but when it comes to recording, it's much more difficult to get that down. Whereas rappers can, it's, it's much more easy. It's much easier to do that. So I would say we like. Let's do Aubrey and Carlitos. Yeah, and then. The other four, we tell them that we will um, have them as interns and help them produce their first song, see how they work, and then we'll go from there if we want to sign them as an actual artist within the label. Yeah, yeah. Good. Can I um can I call people to let them know that that intention? Yep. Okay, sure. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Hi, Dan. Hi, are you all right? What's up? I, I, well, I wanted to call you because Elle and I were just speaking like privately about all the auditions and everything that was going on. Um, obviously, we didn't want to speak to you guys there and then because everyone's there, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I uh, obviously yeah. really like your music. I would love to work with you, Elle would as well. So we're definitely keen on signing you. And obviously, we'd like to offer you a contract at some point. However, I know you currently have a situation with Wu Chang. Um, so we would have to figure that out, right? We have to talk to Harry or talk to the people. But they, obviously, keep in mind that we... 
speak to Mandem for Yeah, so yeah. Figure it out. For sure. And obviously, okay. we, we are also um, sister label of that of the, the record label as well. So I feel like if they would honor it, they would also probably allow it as well. So I think maybe we can get into You can obviously figure out what you want to do. You want to, you know, uh, check your things as well. I know you were speaking to Mandem as well. So, you know, if you want to do that, uh, uh, continue to do that. But I want to let you know our intent is to definitely offer you a contract and definitely get to work ASAP on your music and everything we can do together. So, um, take that away yeah. with what you uh you know think about it and then let us know but if you want to get into a meeting with wu chang or if you want us to talk to harry or whatever you want to do let me know what my intent and, and l's intent is to sign you so yeah would you um I, we can have a sit down meeting with wu chang yeah i feel like i don't want, i don't think it'd be on bad terms or anything or whatever no. because oh god um if we sit down with wu chang and we can talk and then um sorry um That's right. then we can yeah. Oh, I appreciate you listening to like my music and shit. Like that's so huge. Good. You're like a fucking huge artist. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. Well, what, that's what we'll do then. I will set up a meeting with Harry and yourself and L, and uh, we will go from there. Okay. All right. Thank you, Don. All right. Sounds amazing. Thank you. And uh, your music's sick. And hopefully we can work together. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. Bye. Take care. Take care. All right. Uh, Isla didn't pick up, so I'm just gonna drop her a text. I'll read out what I'm saying. Okay, I said, I sent it already because I couldn't actually see it. Uh, hey, Isla, Elle and I spoke and we would love to sign you and work with you at Dolphin Records. We would like to start with an internship slash developmental role to begin with. So we know that we are a good fit. In other words, I want to make a song with you and see how we can get a demo made. Is that something you'd be comfortable with? I want to make sure that we're a good fit for you. Um, let me know. Yeah? Perfect. Okay. Hello. I'm in a race right now. It's fun. I'll call you back, all right? <laughs> okay, sure. I might be in bed, but... Uh... <laughs> Okay, yeah, fine, fine. Okay, what's up? I can talk. No, no. Okay, okay. We want to sign you, um, but we want to first do a like internship developmental role first so that we can work together and make a demo first so that you know that we fit you as much as you fit us, okay? Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, take your time, do your speaking. race, but we will um, speak soon. But we want, I want to let you know my intent, okay? I want to sign you, so, yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, did race. Talk to you in a bit. Talk to you in a bit. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Okay, she was racing. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? It's Don Dolph. Oh, hi, Don. How are you? I'm good. Are you free? Are you, are you able to talk? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good to talk. Okay, great. So, obviously, uh, thanks for coming through to the auditions. It was great to hear you and your voice and your performance. Um, Elle and I were speaking after the after the auditions and um, you know, speaking kind of like what we want to do with the artists and how we want to approach things. Uh, we want to, we do want to sign you, we want to work with you and offer you something. However, we would like to do it on yeah. a, yeah, on like an internship first, or like a de de developmental, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, basis first. So in other words, create a demo with you. So work on a song together, work on, maybe have a call or just kind of, yeah, work on a demo together to back, you know, find your strengths, your weaknesses and what we can do and how it would look when you know, working with you. And also that's mainly for you or the benefit as well. Like as much as, you know, we want to work with you, you might not want to work with us once you start working with me, you know? So um, if that's something you're interested in, then that's great. I just wanted to give you our intent first, just so that uh, you know where we stand before we go into like more discussions and more meetings over the weekend or on Monday, et cetera. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounds great. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, I will. Um, I'll Tell speak to you soon. I, we will get her Discordia soon. Um, once our oh, eyes hello. are closed and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. So what we'll do as well, we'll speak with Al, and Al will get your uh, email, and we'll go from there, and we can speak more there, and, and you know, and, and get things moving as well. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank awesome. So All right. Thanks for performing as well. It's great. It's great. I really appreciate her uh, spending the time. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Take care. Have a good weekend. Have a good night. All right. Bye. 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 I can't park the car. I swear you just say parking so many times though. Fees? I can't pay. Only L can pay, it's not my car. Don't do for me, I got what it takes. When I can dry my eyes, whiskey cigars on ice. Yeah, then the world is mine. So then we pump the brakes, the rhythm of the night. So please give me my space so I can live my life.